Dump, 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 dump. We need silicon. I was going to try the desert for the first time. Have played every other biome there. So, yeah. All of them are good choices. I'm just finding... Well, so something that I did on my current playthrough, which I regret now that I've been playing it for a bit, um, I, reg I, I readjusted the biome sizes because usually when... Um, before they locked the the different characters to the different biomes i actually really enjoyed playing in in having my home base in the green area just in the regular forest and then just going out for like i would basically like find a gen or a bob that was in the in the green area and then that would be where i'd set up my main base but since they've now locked the traders to specific biomes um, I have no desire to stay in the in the basic area anymore, which is really sad because the a lot of the themes of the other biomes are not nearly as fun for me. You know what I mean? It, it, it's when you're straight up giving yourself seasonal depression by playing in certain biomes. It's like, what the heck, you know? Not that I'm not that I'm doing that to myself, but that's how it feels, you know, which is not fun. Here we go. How's our water doing? Hey, hey. Okay, and then I need to find out which one is the heat because we're going to do that one first. Our first rocket to launch is going to be heat. Iridium is pressure. Oh, that's annoying. Um, all right, fine. We're going to do that one first because we want the iridium. Two super and a rocket engine. And oxygen. Gosh, I hate that. I hate that that's so far away. I want it. I might try and pull that in. What do we decide? A rocket engine and two super? I have no super. Silicon, titanium. Oh, we also never got the better oxygen upgrade either, now that I think about it. Oh, we now need another silicon, and we're out of silicon. Dump the water. Have some food. All right, we need one more silicon. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'm moving this. I hate this here. I want it closer. Here. Ugh. This game has certain prejudices against this location, and I don't like it. We go like that. Not bad. I like that. I like that way better. Although I do want two more iron on this. Like that. All right. First rocket, everybody. You love the Darkness Falls mod? Yeah, those mods are pretty good. Um, I have mixed emotions about them. Most of them are entertaining to watch. Um, I've only played one or two of them myself, and it was okay. I'll be excited more when they are updated for 1.0. Oh, wow. That, uh, that rocket had issues getting out of here, didn't it? So now here's the question. Which way is the... Oh! Oh, as I fall off. Come on, game. I want to see where they hit. Okay. I like this better. So one of the issues I've always had with my different zones. Oh, by the way, hi, everyone. This is episode something. What are we at? Four, five, six, seven. Episode seven. One of the uh, issues I've always had with the alternative um, play locations is just having horrible RNG with the rockets coming in this location is great it looks so good cobalt magnesium silicon water okay cool 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 i'm very excited 
but yeah this one looks great for for where the meteors are coming down i like it i was worried that it was gonna like you know pepper the top of that ridge line and then it's like impossible to get to everything but this side this this seems great one rocket hit the ring oh i didn't i didn't see that i wasn't paying attention to that that's pretty cool oh yeah these ones i'm probably gonna have to come back for them if they're ooh, depending on how tucked these are I wish the I wish the um, the game developers of this game would de decrease the size of the meteor rubble. Just cut it down by like, you know, 40 percent or something. That way it, it doesn't. Oh, hello. It doesn't leave you with these incredibly hard to reach patches of resource until they despawn or just make it so that the rocks disappear like three times faster, you know. Just something so you're not waiting forever for them to go away so you can access your goodies. All right, there's some over there. I need it to be nighttime so I can see everything. The one bad thing here is there is a fair amount of like valleys and hills. So anything that does hit certain spots is going to be harder to oh, harder to see. But yeah, we needed the iridium first so that we can make more rods for rockets. We don't have nearly enough. And as we get to where we're farming up extra, we'll be able to do this more efficiently too. Because then we'll launch like five or six rockets at a time. I'm just hoping that we don't get boned too hard by lowering the, the rate by 20%. The main spot I'm worried is, is power. Because in order to scale up to match that, power is going to be a lot nastier. Okay, I think that's everything. Let's head back to the ring so I get some oxygen. Each drop four to five. Um, iridium. No, uranium and iridium are different. Uranium drops five. Iridium drops six. Something like that. Yeah, they're not. They're not quite the same. They're different to each other. All right. Let's see. Let's immediately turn this into rods. Sweet. Grab that. Get another rod. Sweet. All right. That's the other one. I wish uh, another thing I wish the game would developers would do in this game is truly, truly um, tier these out by three. So have three nuclear reactors. Have three of everything because like like heaters go up to what is it? Five or six uh, pressure goes to five or six oxygen changes halfway through so you go tier one tier two tier three and then you do flower or one grass and then two different flowers instead of having those three all be the same sequence or series raining again all right i know of at least you said that one of these seemed to have hit the thingy i wonder where i don't see it i don't know up and over here we go whoa can i fall in that I cannot. That's funny. Already. But yeah, those ones, they are specific. In fact, I, we should be able to see right here on this one. There should be six from this. One. Two, three, four. Five, six. Yep. See, there's six per iridium, and then there's five per uranium ratios oh and then i got a couple of these locations over here i need to go visit again i had originally come over here but then i didn't have the inventory space at the time i was trying to find ice in the first episode or two i was like man i really could use some ice and then i couldn't find any all right that's everything on that one and then over here there's another one that has the uh the little wreck which was funny because I did it when I didn't have a flashlight yet because that's how early I was in the game. I didn't have a flashlight and some wandering around in the dark for a second. It's not a very long one though, so it wasn't a big deal, but it was still funny. Oh, not this one. This one has the other cave. Oh, that was the other thing I want devs to do in this game. I want them to take all of the debris in the bottom, all of the debris in all of the resource mines and replace it with the explodable rocks so that you can clear them out. That's a huge one. Yeah, this was the one I went to. Yeah. 
Good golly. All right. Um, we're going to drop you two because you're worthless. We're going to drop that. And then that should be... Oh, I wish I could deconstruct that. So many resources. And then that was, a, that was another thought as well as if they would change that. Change it so that everything that you find could be deconstructed. Imagine how good of resources you could collect over a game if you you know find a reactor sitting there and then you deconstruct it and get the parts back be like woohoo <laughs> i got a free reactor or have it give you back like half the resources have it give you like two pulsar and then two super for tearing one of those up i mean even giving half the resources back would be amazing our planet has sunspots I was looking at the colors and I'm like, ooh. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll get you your dang bourbon. I need to watch that again. That's such a good movie. It's from the first mummy movie. Very funny. Okay. Aluminum. Iron. Magnesium. Silicon. Oh, I need I need to do just a run of iron. Oh wow, yeah, I do. Give me that. Make another rod. Two, four, six, seven. Need super to do any more. Alright, aluminum, congratulations. You've inherited garbage. <laughs> All right, now it's time. We got to go mine a bunch of iron real quick so we can expand the storage. The storage is getting chunky. <laughs> chunky. Wow, this sand is so vibrant. Look how bright it is. Oh, well, I'm also going to grab the silicon while we're out because we are always out of silicon right now. Titanium. Silicon. Iron. I saw a funny video on that, how like in England they say aluminium, but then they say platinum. It's the same spelling or it's the same conjugation at the end or whatever, but they say aluminium, but then they say platinum. They don't say platinium, you know, it's really funny. The color of road lines, the color of road lines. Where are you from that the color of road lines look like this? My road lines are white or yellow. It is very vibrant, though. Like, holy smokes, like blinding light. How are we doing? Not even halfway. Okay, okay let's go this way. Iron. Silicon, iron, okay, more iron. Yeah, I need a lot of iron because I'm ready to expand my storage by quite a bit. You have old roads on your property with orange lines. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I was going to say you said that and I was like, really? I was like, where are you from? Because yeah, I don't have anything like that where I'm at. Where we're from... It's all yellow and white. We do have a lot of a lot of old roads, though, because we live in a smaller ish town. Like, I think our city has like, golly, how big is our city? 80,000 people, something like that. It's pretty small. But even that is getting big for me, like so many people have moved here and I hate it. We've noticed some really weird traffic patterns since we since we've had we've had a massive move to where we are. Lots of people are moving to where I'm from. And since then, like we've had significantly higher traffic incidents, a lot more wrecks. A lot of really bad traffic habits have come to our city and it's bad it's causing wrecks everywhere. The main one is that people are doing the tailgating thing through through yellows on turn signals which is horrible because it's a net negative for the intersection because most of the lanes that they're hugging on are two lane are two lane each direction so you'll have two lanes going forward and two lanes going behind you or next to you 
and then every time two cars piggyback through, it blocks more cars then. Build a nice entrance to the regular colors then. Oh, nice. So wherever you're from is fairly old school at that point. Okay, let's do this. We're going to throw down... Nice and tight here. One there, one there. And then... One there, one there. Okay, you are super, and then you are osmium and sulfur. Sulfur? What the heck? Sulfur. And then this is iridium, and then uranium. Ooh. Dump. Give me all the iridium. Give it its own home so it's not clogging the inventories. Same with the uranium. And then I want to come this way and throw down more for seeds. Oh, shoot. This one's weird because of how it goes, right? If I remember right, it's like that. And then we're going to go oxy seeds. Food seeds. We'll start with that for now. And we brought some silicon home Oop. and an iron home. Give me all of that. There we go. Food seeds. Okay. Oxy seeds. Perfect. Oh, except for that one. Give me that one because we want that one down. Oh, we have the first grass spreaders. Oxygen 86 plants 0.15. Oxygen 86. Oxygen 10. Okay, so just doing the grass spreader is infinitely better. <sighs> All right, fine. Put that back down. Okay, what did you take again? Two water. We're going to go four aluminum, four water, and then four mag, and then four of those and then this is going to tank my power again because we can't have nice things got to go some time for uh, oh yeah you're good thanks for hanging with me it's always a pleasure having you that one there that one there that one there that one there oh dear why we can't have nice things I was going to say, you're probably literally one of the two females in the entire universe that watch my content. There is not many females that watch my stuff, and that's okay. I'm all right with that. I can survive. Iron. Yeah, the solar just sucks in this. The solar is always really rough. One, two, there we go. Got our power back online. We now have oxygen and plant. So if we come over here now, biomass is going up very slowly, but it is going up, which is good. Okay, how are we doing here? Okay, so pressure went up once because we launched a rocket. Oxygen is going up higher now because of that. Heat, heat, we need to launch at least one heat rocket which I don't know if we have the resources for quite yet. I need super, so we're going to have to do a, a run to go grab goodies for that. Let's drop you, have our food and water. Bring one of each, and then we're going to come over. Hey, Dean, how you doing? How you doing, boy? Uh, we're heading to the one of the super locations. We're going to head over to the maze and scour the cliffs for super and any other goodies that we happen to find there. Good golly. Oh, I have access to rocket level two, but I don't remember what that takes ingredient wise. I want to say that takes an explosive powder, but I don't remember. If it does, we're going to have to wait to get it. Because we don't have access to that yet.
oh this poor location there's nothing there now that I'm now that I'm not building there my last playthrough I built my base right there and it was really fun I like building suspended between like large objects that's really cool like picking two giant t uh, towers to build between really fun yeah let's just go right over top I have no time no time to go around too slow there we go hey look a random red spot doing good weight on cars oil change nice that's fun we're doing a we're doing a road trip tomorrow it's gonna be fun i'm gonna drink caffeine listen to movies and music go to wingers get a burger love me a burger okay let's uh let's come over here and ooh, grab this chest and then we'll step over and get some oxygen real quick all right that one's a nook so that's not going to take us where we want to go we gotta go this way and then we're going to take the uh, take the express elevator here there we go ah let me in flower pot some oxygen going here you don't have any more super do you you do not in fact here let's go like this let's dump all of that here we'll fly around and get loaded up and then we'll come back oof crickety crackety all right let's see how much super we can get on our way here oh thought there was more there and there's not did you ever find the hidden wall in the lake? We did. We, uh, yep, we found it today. We got four pulsar, three chips, a bunch of food, and then a couple of other basic resources from it. But yeah, the, the main, the main items we got that were good were the chips and the pulsar. Saves us an extra wreck trip, which is cool. And then food. Food is, uh, it's not super needed right now. Like, we have a food grower growing, and then we have a, a small stockpile of food. But that, that did supplement us for a bit, so we should be okay. Okay, any more over? Oh, yep, right there. Cool. Ah, I'm falling off the rock. Don't do it. Stop it. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. The devs need to clean those up. <laughs> Some of those are really hard to get around. I'm just minding my own business and I fell off a cliff. Let's see. Yeah, it should be this way to get back up. Ugh. I don't know why, but I'm extremely stiff today compared to yesterday. Don't know if I slept weird or what. I don't know. All right. To be fair, I am quite tired. Oh, it's been so astronomically hot where I'm at right now. So I, I live in a fun spot. Um, the high of the year is usually around like 103. That's the high of the year. And then the low of the year is usually like minus 20. Some, some days I wish we were a little more... Uh, What's the word? Tepid? Is that the word? A little more tepid in our temperatures. Creepy, isn't it? A body and a secret wall. Yeah. Yeah, a bit creepy. The, the fact that it's just a random secret wall is weird. Like, if it was just a crevice that happened to have a body in it with a chest, you know, it's like, oh, hey, I found a secret, you know? But the fact that it's like a, a secret wall that you have to deconstruct to get to, that part's kind of weird. We're going to jump across here. Come on. We need all the super. There's also aluminum, too, out on the outer rim there. But I don't know if we're going to necessarily get to that right now. All right, here we go. Yeet! Oh, not enough. I tried. But in the end, it didn't even matter. 
I had to fall to lose it all. Good song. Good childhood. I feel sorry for people that didn't grow up with Linkin Park. All right. Um, that's a lot of super. Get the Iridium. Take one of the seeds with us. Okay. We're going to take that much with us now. We'll take this much with us right now. and We'll get some goodies. Building. Building. Holy cow. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> oh, man. Honey, did you change the sheep? Ooh. Maybe a kitty will go snuggle me on him when I get done here in a little bit. The the plan of the day is I'm gonna I'm gonna record for record stream for another half hour, ish, just over a half hour, and then I'm going to go. I'm gonna hop off and hang out with my kitty, and then tomorrow the plan is if I'm streaming at all it'll be tomorrow evening, late afternoon, early evening, something like that. We did get up to three MTI this episode, though. That's nice. We were under... Before I started today, we were at like 900 KTI. And now we're up to almost... We're up to three and a half-ish MTI, which is good. But yeah, like I was saying, one of the main things I need to do right now, I need to make sure I send up at least one rocket of everything. Like right now, we've launched one pressure we need to launch at least one at least one of the other one there but yeah okay well let's do food and water and then dump Ooh, we can now officially dump these into their own respective homes now oh so much better aluminum oh excuse me garbage Uranium, food, seeds, oh, and a plant. There we go. Cool. All right. So let's do this. We need cobalt. We don't have cobalt. Two, four, six. One, two, three. And then just grab the rest because I don't remember how much it is. One per. Yeah. Okay. Dump this back. We need two per. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I want to get one more silicon. And then I need just a crap ton of cobalt. Are the ships in Creeper World fan powered or automated? Powered or automated? Uh, what do you mean? You're talking about, are you talking about Creeper World Ikes? Because the ships in that game, um, it's kind of hard to describe. The, the command ship generates energy slowly over time, but only a limited amount. And then you have to build reactors, and then the reactors provide you with the rest of your resource. And then uh, building ships takes a certain amount of energy. Once a ship is built, it takes no energy to move around or exist. It does take energy to fire, though. So you have to... Ooh, I didn't see that there. Hello. Um, nothing too crazy in it, though, sadly. But yeah, so basically, once the ships are built, um, they take energy to fire, but they don't take energy to move. Or may, uh, they do take energy, I think, to repair as well. But the, the basics is you build your command ship, or you deploy your command ship. You then deploy other ships using the command ship. And then after a bit, you... Um, you can, there's also some upgrades you can throw down as well that help. Wow. A meteor seems to have hit me on the head. Okay, so we're going to launch two of these. Oh, and then one of those. You okay? Okay. All right. Well, that gives us three more rockets launched. That should be two of each. So if we come over here, 